Hi, this tutorial explains getting started with Teleport one-click droplet app that is available in the Stellotion marketplace. Teleport allows engineers and security professionals to unify access for SSH servers, Kubernetes clusters, web applications, and databases across all environments. If you're looking for a custom or manual installation, check out our Teleport installation page at goteleport.com slash docs installation. Before you begin with Teleport installation, make sure you are ready with a cluster name. A cluster name it should be a fully qualified domain name. Next, you'll need an email address to fetch a TLS certificate from Let's Encrypt, a username to be used as Teleport account, and a two-factor authentication app. The setup wizard will ask for these values to configure Teleport account for you. For this tutorial, I'm using a domain name teleporter.dev and its DNS is managed with Cloudflare. Now let's create a droplet. I am selecting the smallest droplet size as Teleport is very efficient on server resources. I'm selecting Singapore as my data center reason, selecting SSH keys as authentication method, trim down host name to Teleport so it's easier to reference. Okay, depending on the production use case, you may require to select a bigger droplet size. Now our droplet is ready. We'll use this IP address to update our DNS record. Add a new A record with subdomain do demo. Paste the IP address, turn off the proxy and save. Now we'll SSH to our instance. Yes. Okay, the setup wizard is started. So we'll enter our cluster name that is diodemo.teleporters.dev that we configured earlier. Then we'll, it will ask for email address. at goteleport.com. Username, so I will be using T admin. Now the setup wizard is taking all the inputs and automatically configuring teleport for you. Okay, the wizard is done. Now the final step is required to complete user setup process. We'll copy this link and open it in browser where we'll be setting up password and two-factor authentication for the user account. So scan the QR code with two-factor authentication app and then set password and TOTP code to create an account. Okay, our account is created and as you can see we have logged in inside teleport ui teleport primary server or the droplet we created is already enrolled inside servers and you can access the server from this ui so on the top right we have user account settings on the left we have ui menus where you can view activities manage teams or clusters so let's connect to the one server. This is the primary server where Teleport is installed. Check Teleport version, Teleport service status. This is just a demo that you can SSH from the web UI and browser itself. Okay, so this is just a quick 
demo of the Teleport Web UI. To go further from here, please do check out our documentation page and learn how to server access, application access, Kubernetes access, and database access using Teleport. If you need any help, make sure to ping our community forum or Slack channel or check out GitHub for open issues and discussions. So that's it for this tutorial. Happy teleporting. Good day.